Tony, two games to go. We travel to Woking tomorrow. What are your thoughts on that game? Yeah, um, we're looking forward to the game, but we have picked up um, a few injuries through the week, and on, on top of already heavy um, treatment room, we've you know we've now picked up a few more. But it's the nature of the beast at this stage of the season. Lads are getting tired and picking up injuries, and you know um, well, we've got one, two, six lads in the in the treatment room that would be certainly if not starting heavily part of it so um, yeah but it gives other lads an opportunity we haven't got a lot of strength uh, in depth you know we'll give give some younger boys an opportunity to to get playing and to get in in my eye line actually another big change is obviously in goal yeah uh, Joe McDonald's gone to Sonny on Wars could you just touch a little bit on that short term loan deal and what that'll mean for our final two games yeah it's a real difficult one because um, we got contacted and asked if we would allow it to happen um, Mac had already knew about it through um, through his agent etc um, when I spoke to him and um, it was something that didn't really strike me straight away as being the right thing to do but once I delved into it and looked at it it was um, you know the manager there Neil Ardley has took um, Macca to from Basingstoke to Wimbledon and from Wimbledon to Notts County and give him a chance to make it as a pro footballer. So I think Macca felt he would like to repay him. And with us now being sort of safe and um, nothing to play for, such as um, trying to get in the playoffs or trying to stay in the league or trying to get promoted, it made sense for us to let him get that um, really experience, I suppose. He's got another year with us next season. Um, he will be a better goalkeeper and a better player for it once he comes back and hopefully he can use that experience with us moving forwards uh, whether it be next season or, or moving forwards from there so yeah I mean also gives me a chance to look at Ross Flitney in goal for, for the last couple of games and uh, yeah we've got I've got big decisions to make over the next sort of two weeks so uh, all these are things that can help yeah absolutely you mentioned obviously the outfield players some some injuries some knocks but the faith you've already shown in, in the youngsters um, are you confident that that will be only a good thing for us couple of games for them to, unlike as you said, to keep them in your eye? Definitely. You know, every every player needs an opportunity and somebody to trust them at the start of their career to to make a to make a career out of it. You know, um, I got out of the army to play football, and if I wasn't given the chance by the coach, by the manager Terry Fenwick at the time, I wouldn't have um, went on to play for 15, 17 years, wherever it was that I went on to play. And you know, it's different pathways that you take. These lads need an opportunity. You know they've worked hard for it. They've been at clubs and they've been let go, and then they've been here. They come into our, our elite development squad, and they've they've shone and they've done well. You know they've won the league. They've got to national finals. So we need to give these boys a chance to show that you know they're ready to step into the first team group and and be part of that group, whether that is a bit part player or a week in week out player, is remain to be seen. But these are the opportunities that I can sort of put these players in. We've got a lot of injuries, as I said, so players will come in and get get a chance. As we approach the season, obviously you mentioned players are playing for the badge, but also playing for themselves. Mm. What are your plans with the squad in terms of looking ahead to next year? Um, the plans with the squad is that my job is to come in here to evaluate, to get the club safe, um, to look at the club on behind the scenes as well as on the pitch and how we can improve it. Um, we've got some good ideas and the club have been excellent so far. We're, we're safe, we are um, in this league next year and now I'm looking at how ways to improve the club and, and the team, you know, so but ultimately I'll get judged by what goes on on the pitch, so I need to get that right first and uh, um, that will take a lot of change, it'll take a bit of time but also uh, a lot of hard work and, um, and there will be some bad news for, for players. You know, um, we've got a lot of lads out of contract and uh, I'll sit down at the end of the season with them boys after the last game and um, have a conversation with them. You know, some some of it will be um, what they don't want to hear, but some of it will be will be good news. So that's the game. We evolve. We we carry on working hard and, and uh, we respect one, one another's um, positions, and, and we move on. But ultimately, I need to get a team that's going to be competitive next year to be at the right end of the table. And as you mentioned, uh, with obviously two games to go, we haven't got anything to play for in terms of safety or yeah. promotion. So what are you looking to get out of the squad for the last two games? I just want the players to show me the best version of them and have a bit of pride in playing for the badge uh, and themselves, you know, because whether they're here next year or they're going somewhere else to play, um, 
you know, they are getting judged every every game, every training session. You know, you need to make sure that you leave a, a good lasting impression on people. And that is something that I think comes naturally to a certain extent, but also can be sort of coached into you to be to be a winner. To want to win everything you do um, on the training ground, on the pitch. And all those little small games become big things in the end and it just becomes a good habit. Um, I just feel a little bit that it's been a bit lackadaisical here at the club over, over previous times where it's just been accepted and I don't want that to happen.